Hey there tubers, it's me again. I'm uh, heading in this morning to meet a recruiter. Uh, hopefully I should have a job on Monday. I think it's only a short term contract. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be awesome. Should get me through Christmas and something new to do. And uh, I'm excited, awesome. So I'm just at the interview now. I'm waiting for the interviewer. This is the interview room. Exciting, I know. I'll let you know how it goes. I might have a walk along the river walk. I've never really gone that far along here, I've never had the time. But, uh, it's like quite a bit of construction going on. It's like including restaurants and things. So it's a bit of an interesting place to stick them under the bridge. Got in out of the heavy construction zone. A bit more peaceful over here. Yes, so the job went well. And uh, Monday I'm starting for a short term project. It's just till December 22nd at this point. But uh, who knows, there might be extensions, we'll see. Or I might want to go somewhere else. I guess we'll find out. But um, yes, I'll be working at the university and um, doing some sort of data transformation project. So that's going to be interesting. I uh, just hope I can deliver on it now because there's an awful lot of pressure around um, delivery and time frames. I'm sure I will be able to deliver on it, it's just uh, more whether or not their expectations and time frames are realistic. But I guess until I get in there and really get under the hood and figure out what's going on, it's hard to know for sure. So, anyway, that's exciting. And uh, I think even the short term nature of it's going to be good as well. I uh, spent eight and a half years at the last job, so maybe a bit of variety will be a nice change. So, feeling positive. And failing that, I'm going on holiday in a week and a half, so <laughs> there's always that to look forward to. Um, Thankfully, this lot were a bit more receptive to that, so that's okay. Uh, I guess we'll see what sort of pressures exist next week. You know, this is awesome, just miles and miles of concrete smooth boardwalk. If anybody out there would like to send me an electric skateboard to test, feel free. I wouldn't say no.
as fun as that was, the rain has come in and ruined that. So uh, I'll pack up, head towards the city and probably head back home now. I think I got some good footage of the bridge and stuff and down the river, so we'll see how that turns out. As you can see, the uh, clouds are looking pretty bad. We've had a week's worth of this, so <laughs> I don't know where summer has gone. It's supposed to be uh, blazing hot at the moment, but instead it's turned into this. And now the sun's back out. I just can't win. What do you want to bet? If I put the drone back up in the air, it'll start raining again. Put the drone in the bag, the sun comes out. So I'm all home from the city now. Um, one of the things I did do while I was there was um, my phone's contract expired in February. So I've actually been well overdue for an upgrade and I've been finding that my iPhone 6 is really struggling now with the Mavic. I'm getting a lot of CPU warning messages and things all the time, especially since the last update. The phone's just not snappy, it's taking a long time for things to open and so forth. So I've got an upgrade to the iPhone 8 as part of my contract. Um, they asked me if I wanted the iPhone X. Um, but I decided that it's a little bit too cutting edge and I think there's a few too many problems with it at this point. Um, certainly the OLED screen, while um, everybody seems to be very uh, affected by having it go to the edges, is not enough of a motivation for me to have to change it. And um, there's certainly a few issues already with the durability of the screen and um, I find that concerning. So. I think uh, while they work out the bugs in that model, I'll stick with the iPhone 8, which should be nice and dependable. Uh, plus, which it'll still fit all my existing accessories and cases and things like that, which is a huge plus. So, uh, here is my unboxing video now. Okay, so here it is. It's a uh, nice new iPhone 8. It's a Space Gray 256GB. Uh, uh, as always, the packaging looks delicious. Apple certainly does a very nice job with the packaging box is not anything greatly different from what um, they've previously produced. So we've got the usual uh, uh, instruction card, some stickers, a uh, little SIM key thing, we need that, put that over there for later. Uh, some little instruction card here. Too, too radical there. Get back in there. Alright. Okay, now we've got the phone itself. I have to say it's a very nice looking phone. I know a lot of people are complaining that it's um, you know not different enough and all that and they've all got to have the VX because it's radically different and you know but um, I'm not that necessarily driven by the look of it and having to have the new latest and greatest. Um, it's a phone, you know, there's not too much that's going to change with it. Um, you know, if the phone stays looking, you know, similar and of a similar size, I don't really see that as a detractor. It's more about what's under the hood. So, and uh, definitely the new, new phone is a lot better. I'm still quite happy with the button there as well. It's quite a firm button, isn't it? It doesn't really even push anymore. It's interesting. Alright. Well, I'd probably have to stick a case on it anyway, so... Uh, oh, yeah, we've got some juice in it. That's exciting. Alright, we'll let that warm up. What else have we got? We've got the standard earbuds. Okay, they are in their little adapter cable. Thought they might have at least gotten to the to uh, including the Bluetooth ones in there now, the earpods, but uh, apparently not. Uh, got the usual lightning cable and the uh, power charger, which is uh, pretty much the same as it's always been. Cool. Let's take the cable. Charger. Which way is it? There we go. Okay, right. good to go. Alright, got 
the usual hello. I have to put a sim on it. Alright, well, we'll go and set that up and uh, migrate all the stuff over. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. And uh, I'll let you know how the phone works out for me. Uh, I'm a little apprehensive about the glass back. I, I know everyone's excited for that and uh, you know it's a big thing with the whole wireless charging and all that um, but yeah I, I don't know if it's worth increasing the fragility of it um, but I did have the iPhone 4 with the glass back and never really had any great dramas with it so I think as long as you're careful it should be okay uh, but I will definitely be putting a case on it of some kind. Um.